Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for checking out my new channel. As always, if you like what I'm doing, then please hit that subscribe button and bell icon as that would be much appreciated. All right, so I just finished reading the book, The Boy Who Was Raised as a Dog by Dr. Bruce Perry. Now this book was originally published in 2006, so I guess by some standards you could call it dated. And this is definitely one of those titles that you go, say what? But man, this book is excellent. Dr. Perry is arguably the world's leading expert on childhood trauma, and this book shows why. One of the things I appreciated about Perry's work is his gentle tone and humility. Obviously, he's a brilliant man, but he's so thoughtful and caring with the way that he handles each of his patients and their loved ones. Basically, each chapter of the book highlights a different case of a child that Perry and his team have helped heal and recover from severe trauma, such as physical abuse, sexual abuse, severe neglect, religious abuse, children that witnessed violence, including the murder of their own parents, and even a little boy that spent five years being raised as a dog. It's evident throughout the book that while Dr. Perry is a psychiatrist, he understands the value of taking a holistic approach to treatment for each of his patients. He's keenly aware of how both environmental and family upbringing can shape a child for better or for worse, in addition to individuals who might have been born with genetics that didn't work well in their favor. It's also very clear that Perry deeply values relationships and understands that physical touch, listening, hugging, playing, and nurturing children are far more significant than simply finding the right medication for each patient. One of the lines that prove this point is when Perry says, the more healthy relationships a child has, the more likely he will be able to recover from trauma and thrive. Relationships are the agents of change and the most powerful therapy is human love. One of the fascinating things from the book is that Perry and his team have discovered that the best therapeutic experiences for traumatized children should be focused on the developmental age in which the child experienced the trauma rather than providing chronologically aged therapeutic experiences. So for example, if a child suffered extreme neglect from birth to age two, then the therapy needed for that child needs to be focused on what an infant to a two-year-old needs, even if the child in therapy is six, seven, or eight years old. Now this is not a Christian book, and it's certainly not an easy read. Around chapter six, I actually had to put the book down because I was so overwhelmed by the weight and tragedy of the things that I was reading. But none of that should hinder anyone from reading and learning from Dr. Perry. So with all of that said, do yourself a favor and buy this book. This work should be mandated reading material for teachers, coaches, pastors, police officers, and anyone that works with children who have been the victims of abuse or neglect of any form. If you or a loved one suffered childhood trauma, then read this book. I honestly cannot think of anyone who wouldn't benefit from reading Perry's work. I'll drop a link to the book in the description below. And if you have read this book, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it and how it impacted your life or perhaps changed the way that you interact and engage with children who have endured severe trauma. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Peace.